Baby Jesus, baby Jesus, I love you, I love you. You are my savior, you are my savior every day, every day. Toto Yesu, Toto Yesu, na kupenda, na kupenda. Wewe ni mokozi, wewe ni mokozi wa kila siku, wa kila siku. Kana jeso, kana jeso, ne gwedete, ne gwedete. We moho no kia wakwa, we moho no kia wakwa, he de shio de. Good morning children, praise God. Hope you are well and keeping safe at home. I love you. I'm missing you so much. Today is another day. We are glad for this day that the Lord has made. We are going to start our kids show this morning by a word of prayer. Are you ready children? Please hold your hearts and then we pray. Are you ready? Thank you God for this day. Thank you Lord because of your love. Thank you, God, because of your mercies upon our lives, O oh God. Thank you, God, because you have taken care of us. This morning we commit ourselves unto you, O oh God. As we learn today lessons, we pray, Jehovah Father, that you may open our minds, that we may hear from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, let us all say, Amen. Teacher Newton. What do you have for us today? Good morning. Praise God. Praise God again. This is the day in Mint, And uh, today we are going to learn about friendship. Our lesson today will be, will be about friendship. You have a friend, I have a friend. Each one of us would want to be a friend. So today we will be, we'll be learning from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18, from verses 1. 2 verses 4. It's all about friendship. So tafadhali, birede, satwikanda. And we are first of all going to have our readings from the word of God. My name is Angelica Mongoi from SK Jones Mentor. Welcome to Kids Show. Our reading today comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. Our reading for today comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. And I read, After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. From that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return home to his family. And Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David. Along with his tunic and even his sword, his bow and his belt. Thank you for the reading. Now children, today we are going to learn uh, about three people. One of them was King Saul. King Saul was the first king of Israel. The other one was a son called Jonathan. Say Jonathan. Jonathan, yes, Jonathan. The other one was a boy, he was a shepherd. And his name was David. D A V I D. David. Now, David was an age mate to Jonathan. What age? They were, they were like, if they were going to school, they would have been in the same class, like now in class 7, like your age mate. So they were friends. David was a shepherd. And he, was, he had come from a very humble background. They were very poor. But he had made himself, Jesus, God had lifted himself. <laughs> God had lifted him himself up when he killed Goliath. 
You remember when David swing and then he killed Goliath. Now, David was taken by King Saul to stay in his palace. Imagine a young boy taken to the king's palace to be staying there. And now, Jonathan, the king's son, was very happy because there he came, another friend, another boy was of his age. He was like a good friend, like his brother, and they were staying together and they became good friends. And they started now working together, they started praying together, sharing stories together uh, in the Paris. And uh, David and Jonathan, their friendship grew. And Jonathan promised so many things to David. He started giving his things because David had nothing. He only had the shepherd cloth. And now David was given a tony. By, by, by Jonathan. He was also given a rope. He was given a bow and a, an arrow so that when he goes to shoot, they can go and pray together. They were good friends and they became like a son of a king. Say a son of a king. A son of a king again, children. Yes, David became like a son of a king and he was so loved. Jonathan was a very good boy. You know, there are some boys when you see a poor boy comes into your, to your home and mommy says, see there, unanza kumitorokea, you start running away from him. But Jonathan was not like that. He no not start boasting, I'm a son of the king, who are you? No, he was a friend and he, be, he became a very good friend to David. And that's why today we are running about being friends. You have to become a friend. And if you want to become a good friend, you yourself, must be ready to be a good friend. Praise God. Praise God again. You must be ready to be a good friend. Our memory verse for today will come from the book of John 13 verse 34b. Together, John chapter 13 verse number 34b. It says, Jesus loved you so you must love one another. Jesus loved you so you must love one another. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another. That your joy may be full. Probably you have a pen and then your friend does not have one, you can share. Sometimes you go for a tree and your friend forgot money to buy sweets and snacks. And then you share your, your money and then you share your snacks together. It's so good to have a friend. I'm happy I have a friend in Jesus and I have a friend in my class. Thank you, Jesus. As we make friends, it's good to remember, this is not the time to go hugging people, shaking their hands. No, keep distance. Ah, use your mask. Stay at home. Always wash your hands because of coronavirus. Be safe so that you can keep your friends.